Really Yo, man. <laughs> I'm tired of you niggas, man, acting like y'all gatekeepers for these cities. Like, y'all the mayor. Niggas got to get a pass to come see you, come to your block and shit. Look, I love my city, too. It's not my city. It's where I'm from. You can come there and piss on the fucking fire hydrant for all I care. Who the fuck are you to tell somebody they can't come to your city? So, young buck just put out this song. This new joint, and he's telling people, oh, 50 can't come to Nashville. He ain't got no pass. I'm like, bro, half of them niggas in Nashville don't even rock with you like that, bro. Ever since Starlito put out that Proud song, and they found out you like trannies, a lot of niggas turned their back on Buck. For better or worse, you know, say what you want. That did, 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 did. I will give Buck credit. He was the first person from that city, uh, and he did put that city on the map as far as hip-hop-wise, because... Prior to Young Buck, Nashville had no hip-hop presence, and when it came to the state of Tennessee, it was all about Memphis, you know, Jazzy Faye, 3-6 Mafia, 8-Ball, NJG, I'll give him that. But when I think of Nashville, I could think of like 10 different things before I, before Young Buck even pops up. You know, I think of the Titans, uh, the, the Nashville boycotts, Nashville spicy chicken, barbecue, rock and roll hall of fame, I mean, you can keep going. Uh, and no disrespect, but how many niggas have you ever heard say, I'm going on vacation? Where you going? Nashville. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> who the, who is, is, is begging to come to Nashville anyway? Now, I'm pretty sure 50 will go to Nashville to promote his cognac like he goes everywhere else. But I just don't understand this mentality that niggas have where it's like my city. Niggas die over blocks every day, repping a certain block, a certain street. And most of these blocks and streets are named after Confederate heroes and fucking slave owners and shit. Like Marcy Projects, for for example. You know, Marcy Projects uh, was named after William Marcy Tweed, a fucking racist Democrat motherfucker from the 1800s who wouldn't shake your hand if, you, if he was here and could see you. He'd probably piss on you, but niggas will die over Marcy Projects. Oh, Marcy, Marcy versus this project, that project. That's just an example. Yeah, you know I mean, most of these fuck, especially in the South, that's just in Brooklyn, but most of these fucking streets uh, and, and and schools that you go to, like when I was in Queens, the, the school, the high school, the, the most popular high school was Andrew Jackson. Yeah, he was a former president, but he was a fucking slave owner. But that was the school niggas had to go to. You know, and I'm like, I'm not dying over, dying over this shit, bro. And I'm definitely not going to beef over it. Yeah, it's not that serious, but like I said, he don't even got respect in his own city like that. That's the funny part. <laughs> so, him telling niggas they can't come to his town. Like, what you gonna do? You gonna, uh, you gonna fucking be at the toll booth? You gonna be at the the, 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 the bridge when, you know, niggas can't come in through the city limits? You know, I remember Trick Trick a few years ago was uh, telling certain niggas they couldn't come to Detroit. They had a no-fly zone pass and... You know, niggas would press you if you came to Detroit and Trick Trick wasn't fucking with you. And I'm like, bro, it ain't that serious. There's nothing wrong with repping your city and being proud of where you're from. But who the fuck do y'all think y'all are when y'all can tell people they can't come here? They can't. It's a free fucking country, nigga. You niggas don't own these cities, all these, uh, uh, let alone any property, any land, any businesses. So where do you come off telling niggas they can't come there? I don't get that shit, man. <laughs> I don't get it. You know, Buck need to establish himself and get his respect back from his own community first instead of worrying about who can get a pass to come to Nashville, Tennessee. You know, as I don't think niggas is too pressed about coming to good old Nashville any fucking way. You know what I mean? Real shit. But God bless him. You know what I mean? But between the phone calls, the trannies... Uh, the buck for buck donation where you flexed and told niggas he needed money, but then we turned around and seen him at the mall, you know, getting dripped down. It, it, it's sad. Like I said, it's really disappointing to see somebody that you grew up uh, listening to or that you like, and then you realize these niggas is clowns, man. You know, what I look like telling you you can't come to New York or you can't come to Miami. You can't, what? <laughs> I need a pass. You know, so according to Young Buck, 50 needs a pass or else. Listen to it. Here it again. Oh, God. Hey, you, he, you going, he's, oh, he's, he's making threats. He's making threats, nigga, threats. And, uh, you know, in the comment section, you know, you got people basically saying, people from Nashville, it's like, yo, man. We have no respect for you here in Nashville. Who the fuck you think you is? 
Oh, shit, man. Uh, yeah, somebody says, bro, I've been to Nashville so many times. Most don't like Buck. Uh, you know, a lot of people are just from, from the Nashville community uh, or uh, still fucking saying, yo, man, we they, they probably really fuck with Fifth more than they fuck with you. You know? <laughs> if he go to Dubai and all over the world, I doubt if he's pressed about not being able to come to Nashville, Tennessee. You know, some of these niggas is childish in the comment section. They call Young Buck, they call it Asheville because of, you know, Young Buck with the, the whole situation. He <laughs> got Asheville, Tennessee, man. But let me know what y'all think, man. Nobody in Nashville seems to be rocking with Young Buck. Uh, I think for comedy purposes, 50 should go there today in a fucking helicopter and just sit right there <laughs> just get a get a chopper and fly directly there and go to buck house and just spot up and go on live like what's up nigga <laughs> what's really good <laughs> yeah i gotta stop this man nobody is 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 you know nobody's no one's pressing to go to nashville anyway but this whole reality of uh niggas dying over neighborhoods and blocks has been going on way too fucking long you know, I love my block too, but I ain't trying to die for it. You know what I mean? I don't own any of the property here, unfortunately. And unless you own it, you niggas do lucky to get a street named after them. I think Biggie Biggie had to die, and it took 20 years for them to name a street after him uh, over there on Fulton. And then they, 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 they gave uh, Spike Lee a, a block. But most of the time when they do give you an honorary block, it's usually like split off. They're not going to make people change their address to Spike Lee Boulevard. It's still the same shit it's always been. It's just like a, a honorary thing. You know, you're lucky to get that, you know, when it comes to ownership. So it's like unless you own blocks and properties and, and streets, uh, miss me with that shit. You know what I mean? Because like I say with the Marcy nigga, you know what I mean? I know niggas that will die for their projects. LG uh fucking left rack 40 projects all that shit do the research on these projects and who funded them most of these projects the first original residents were jews and poor italian immigrants niggas ain't coming in until like the 50s and problem is we got comfortable and we stayed in there and made it home while the rest of them did what it was supposed to be temporary got their shit together and got the fuck on we made it home and then got tattoos uh, you know all ignorant shit man this shit is ignorant behavior Young Buck, you're like 38 years old. Grow the fuck up, man.